Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you how to basically upload your video and your written response to College Board if you're taking the AP test, by the way, especially. So first of all, obviously, you must have your create task completely done, all your code, all the prerequisites that you need for, code, uh, for the create task. And what you do is go to the top left corner and you see the share button of your create completed app. Click on that. Click on copy link to project. And then you go to the new tab, paste the URL to the or link to the URL, and then you're left with the, just the app with no code. You don't have to do this. I suggest you doing it so it's easier to record. And when recording, I recommend you use the screenomatic.com. I will post the link of the website to download in the YouTube video's description. And then you basically go record for free. And then you have to download it. I already have it downloaded, but you launch free recorder. And you're left with this screen right here and a box. First of all, I would like you, I suggest you go to the narrations and immediately turn it off, like none. This is so because, remember, College Board does not want any voice or any audio in your video, unless it's from the app. You close the app. So you see this box right here? What's here? You're able to move it and adjust it. I already have it pre adjusted since I already did the recording. And then you basically did re your recording. It does the countdown on three, two, one, go. Then you just do your app, whatever you want to do. It's obviously that, you know, that, that, and then whatever you're doing. Once you're done, you press pause, go to done, save and upload video, and you're left with an editing, like a pretty bad but simple editing software. You're able to trim the video from the top or bottom or end to see if you're satisfied or you want to cut off anything you don't want. Then you go to, once you're satisfied with the video, you go to save video, save it as video file. And then you see the file name, you want to change it. I would suggest you change it to individual video one or two because College Board wants your videos to not have your any personal information. So just keep it simple of individual video. Once you do that, press publish, and that's basically your video done. And I'll do a small little cut on how to do the written response in three, two, one. All right, now I'll be getting into the written response template of the or aspect of the College Board. So first of all, Miss Hale did post the template that we'll be using in the College Board that I asked for. Uh, so I highly suggest you just fill it out, just practice, and just reread it, and then. Once you're completely done with the image and stuff, go to the digitalportfolio.collegeboard.org. I will put the link in the description as well. You have to sign in and it will ask you for like terms and conditions about being used for future references that College Board might use for later on CSP students. But once you go overview, you can, if you don't want that to happen, you can press no, I do not grant College Board these rights to use my app for a reference for the future but then you know create written responses and just copy and paste your what's it called your template inside the boxes and once that happens you also have to i forgot to mention use snipping tool to take pictures of your code and once you do take pictures of your code you have to download it like let's say with this button right here you download it with this button save it as you can name it anything you want and make sure you know, it's saved, and then upload it. And once you're all done, you go all the way to the su su submit final. I mean, first, you have to save it first, I should mention. Then submit as final. It asks you to view your file again to double check if you are sure about your code submission and written response. Once you look at that, I have reviewed, confirmed all the stuff to the current conditions that you're not cheated. You understand that you cannot upload or change your file or unsubmit it and you know it's the right version next and then same thing as i said over here submit it I'm done video i already uploaded the video to the point where or my individual video the same thing you just press the upload new button go to the video file that you've gotten from your screen ca um, uh, screencast.o.com um, whatever or i forgot the exact name just submit submit, submit file view file just watch the video that's given, double check if it's the right one, if it is, I reviewed, I reviewed, I reviewed, 
Next, I have here five firm. I'm just doing my own work. I was doing this out. All done, right? Now for I should not have this open. Now what you want to do is your actual app. Get your code on your app it's itself. Upload it to a Google Docs or whatever. Click on File, and then what's the download button? Download, and then download as a PDF. I already have it downloaded as a PDF, so you just go here. The digital portfolio again. Go to Program Code. Scroll down. Upload new, and then submit final. Uh, up upload it first, of course. View file. Double check. Okay, it's the code. It's the code I used. Okay, good. All right. Up, up, confirm, confirm, confirm. Is that programming language? We use JavaScript. And then next, I confirm, I confirm, I confirm. That's it. And that's basically all you have to do for the create task. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, just walk up to me in class, or if Ms. Hale is using this in the future, just, I don't know, ask for help.